back to another episode by Brennan World. Um, to day vlog 38. So we're getting up there. We're almost to 50. So we'll probably be up there in the next few months. Um, but uh, first off, um, hopefully you guys like the intro. All those pictures, I merged them together for like the first time ever. Cause usually like um, on car shows and whatever else, I'll just put them one by one, and they're like four or five seconds each. Um, so that would have taken a lot more time, but if I just did that, and I believe I, um, I believe I'm going to put them at 10 seconds, you guys would already know, but, um, I don't now, um, of course, because I haven't edited this video yet, but, um, yeah, so that's going to be, like, for 10 seconds each, so that probably saved a lot of time right there, um, but, hopefully you guys liked all those pictures, um, those first pictures were, for, of course, from the, um, from, uh, Deer Lodge, Montana, that was over our Easter break, and, uh, yeah, that was our, um, I don't know if I put in text, I had a hair on my tongue, um, but, I don't know if I put on, on in text, but, uh, that was actually the first time, I believe my dad and mom, or my parents said that that was the first time we've ever been out of town on a holiday in, like, 20 years or something, so longer than I've been alive, because I've only been alive for about 15 and a half, um, so, yeah, but, so that was kind of cool, and of course I'm not like Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and Valentine's Day. I think, in my opinion, are le the least important holidays and the ones I don't really care for. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully, like guys, like those eggs. My mom and dad found um this little pack where it was hashtag Easter eggs. So I put like hashtag hopping you, which is like an AKA for jumping you like a, a gangster or something. <laughs> Um, and then I can't remember the other one, um, but they were both kind of funny. Um, and then the other one was like, kind of like a landscape where it was like green and then it had like the fence and then the sun and then the sky. And then the other one was just like kind of a cool little rainbow one or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys liked all those pictures and all that stuff at the very beginning. Um, nice to, nice that it's getting back into car show season. You guys know last year, I believe I went to, oh, like, I believe all the car shows in Great Falls, Montana, um, throughout the whole entire year. So I'm planning to do probably the same thing this year, and that was the first one. Usually that one, um, it's not too exciting, and it's in a smaller building at the Expo Park, but this time it was in the biggest building at Expo Park, and it got a lot bigger. And, um, yeah, so that was, we're all that, but now on to the video. So the first thing I want to show is this right here. You can see I have the whole Mountain Dew label collection. So, um, if you guys watched a few day vlogs ago, um, like on 36 or whatever, I showed that I got white label, I got black label, like, a long time ago. Um, I can't remember when, but then I got white, white label a few weeks ago, but now I got green label, and I got that actually, like, two days after, or like a day or so after we got back from our trip. Um, and, yeah, so... Um, I can't remember exactly, but I know on that day vlog where I was showing white label, I was just like, I'm pretty sure they're starting at black, or stopping at black and white label. That was the shower starting, just in case if you were wondering. Um, so hopefully that won't affect the audio too much, but that's just shower since, since my room has all the pipes and stuff above it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I was saying, like, I'm pretty sure they're stopping at black and white label, because those are the only ones that sound weird, and I'm pretty darn sure... I didn't go back and check, but you guys can if you want to, and I'll probably do it after this video. But I'm pretty sure I said, like, um, I'm pretty sure they're going to stop, because those are the only ones that sound cool and make sense. And, like, what are what are they going to continue on and make, like, green label or something? And, um, yeah, yeah, they did. So, um, basically what happened is when we were on our trip, I believe the first at the gas station we stopped at, um, I saw this thing that said Mountain Dew Label Collection, and I went around, and all of a sudden I was just like, oh my god, they made green label? Um, so yeah, so I believe they're stopping there, because they only, um, have sent out, like, screenshots of, like, three or whatever, so I'm almost certain that's the only three that there's going to be, but if they do make more, of course I will get them, um, but of course that's still, like, my favorite Mountain Dew, um, but anyway, out of the labels, that's, that's probably my least favorite Mountain Dew of all time, it was really good, but it was, tasting more like a monster, and I'm not a fan of energy drinks, really, um, I'm not a huge fan of, um, really any, like, I'm, like, pop, it really messes up my stomach a lot of times and everything, so I do not drink it on trips at all, um, and then when I'm home, I try not drinking, I try not drinking more than one, like, small cup of, at a restaurant or whatever, um, like, every other day, um, so yeah, but that was out of the three labels, that's probably my favorite one, of course, second favorite and third favorite, but that, lo they look really, really awesome right next to each other, and that's the whole Mountain Dew label collection, uh, so yeah, so that's my updated bottle collection, if you guys care, um, but yeah, so that is the first thing I want to show, next up, um, 
Um, usually I show my movie posters first, or my updated movie poster wall, but I think this time we'll go on to the main thing of this episode, which is a huge movie update. So as you can see, um, right there, um, is still the four shelves like it will always be, because now I'm extending on to right there. But you can see that that is extended, um, I almost got like the whole first block, um, bet, um, full, so, yeah, so, and I have got my first three DC movies, well, Technically, that's that's four, and then three, and then one. Um, but uh, yeah, since that's the Dark Knight trilogy special edition, that's the four um, Batman movies from like the late '80s and early '90s. Um, but yeah, so my new movies. Um, there's four on this shelf, uh, one on this shelf, and one on this shelf. So starting off is one um, is or starting off with the first one is Split. Um, I just put it right here because, of course, it's not, there's no sequels or anything, and it's just with my Blu-rays, and these are the Blu-rays that aren't part of anything else and don't have any sequels or anything. Um, so yeah, so I got Split. If you guys don't know, um, um, it's from writer slash director M. Night Shyamalan, which, um, he also directed, uh, The Happening with Mark Wahlberg, probably one of his worst movies, um, which most people will probably agree um, and he also made, uh, The Sixth Sense and Signs and all that stuff. But this is definitely probably his best movie in most people's opinions. Um, but yeah, as James McAvoy, he's a really good actor. He played Professor X on the X-Men movies, or Young Professor X, I guess I should say. But yeah, so I got this, and I didn't go see this in theaters, although I really did want to, but it kind of got in the way of other movies that I want to go see more in theaters. Um, but I, I heard some people in my movies and culture class talking about this. And I just saw some trailers, um, one of those back in theaters, and I just, I did really want to see it, and it came out, um, this, uh, past Tuesday, for me anyway, um, so it came out for you guys about two weeks ago now, um, but for me about a week and a half ago, uh, so yeah, so that is the front cover, I really, really love it, um, and basically it is a slip cover, of course, um, and it's Blu-ray DVD plus digital HD, my favorite, um, type of physical media. And, um, that is the back. Nothing too special about that, but it comes with a lot of bonus features. And, um, yeah, but that's pretty cool. Um, but then on there you can see, uh, you might be able to see a little bit. That is heavily embossed right there, um, split, which if you don't know what embossed means, it means, like, popping out, which you might be able to see. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but, uh, yeah, so. But what's really cool is it is the nice, glossy, plasticky kind of look. Um, but this glass, like, crack stuff, that's actually, I don't know what you would call it, um, because it's not, like, popping out, so I don't think it's embossed, but it's, like, pushing in, which is on a lot of box covers, um, but I don't know what it's called, but it, it goes in, so you can actually feel the cracks and everything, which you can probably see the different depths, kind of, um, but then you, you can see right here, again, it says split, and it is very embossed, and I really love when stuff is very embossed, and, uh, yeah, so that is a front cover, and... Yeah, so I got Split, and um, I watched that the second day we got it, because I was starting to watch it the first day, or we were on the trailer, and we were about to watch it, but then this guy knocked on the door, and my mom and dad ended up um, talking with him and everything, and he was like this guy about like this Vivant um, security system thing, and they ended up getting it, so he called his whole squad up, and then there's like seven people that arrived, and they installed a whole security thing, so now our house is full on purge worthy um so yeah that's pretty cool but so we just watched that the next day but definitely i do recommend split i think it got a little bit long i think um because it is uh let me see on the back here yeah it's an hour and 57 minutes i think it could have been like probably about an hour and 35 minutes or so um but it was very interesting it's about a guy with 23 split personalities um and there's like a more technical way to say it, but I just call it split personality disorder, that's like the easier way to say it, but um, yeah, so he has 23 different personalities, but then the 24th is starting to come out, which is um, called the Beast, and it's basically, he gets like stronger, and just turns into like this demon person, and um, yeah, but it's very interest. it is a very interesting movie, and um, it's basically like how he got that is he was abused as a child, and one of one of his pers or two of his personalities is like one of them is he dresses up like a woman and that's representing his mom from when he was younger and then the one with like OCD and everything and the clean freak and all that um him right there uh he um he represents his dad from when he was younger and he was abused and then um and then 
that's him um as um his real name in the movie is Kevin so he was the kid that got abused and his name is Kevin Wendell so that is Kevin Wendell that's just his personality Kevin Wendell kid version um if you want to call it that so then that's that but of course I would I would probably say agree with everyone else that's that's probably my favorite personality that he had but if you have not checked out Split, definitely recommend it. It was a pretty darn good movie. I liked it pretty much just as much as I thought I was going to, but definitely very happy that I bought that. It was on sale for only, um, I believe, $19, which is pretty good for uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and Digital HD because I actually bought it the Friday after it came out, so Tuesday, so there's literally four days in between, so that's pretty good. Um, but next up is La La Land, and I didn't put it up right there because it doesn't have a sequel or anything, of course. But I, um, I, I put it next to the only other, um, uh, what's his name? Damien Chazelle movie. Um, I put it next to the only other Damien Chazelle movie that he has made so far. So now I have Whiplash, one of my most favorite movies of all time. Probably like number five or so on my top ten currently. Um, but now I have La La Land, which I don't like as much as Whiplash, but it's pretty darn close. I would say this is probably my mom's favorite movie. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so, as you guys know, I was dying to make a review on this back when I was in theaters, and it was just, I, I was so confused when it was coming in my theaters, and eventually it finally came in, and I finally got to do a review on it, and then it took about four months to come out on DVD, because I went and saw it when it came out of theaters on January 6th. Um, but it finally came out on DVD, of course. Um, I didn't tell you guys about this, but I actually pre-ordered this about two months ago. So this has been coming for a long time. Um, but it came on the day of release, so for me, um, it was... Four days ago, it was just this past Tuesday, so we watched it on Tuesday night. Me and my mom watched it again and loved it again, of course. And um, we watched it for the first time with my dad, and he also loved it. Um, so yeah, so this is definitely one of my most favorite, if not my most favorite, slip covers there is. You can see it is just so, so shiny. You can see all like the rainbow and everything on there. It's very, very cool. Um, and you can see, like, the light, if you get in the perfect light, it, like, seems like it lights up. Um, so yeah, so that's very cool. And then, of course, Blu-ray, DVD, and Digital HD, six Academy Award winner wins. Pretty sure they were about to plan just putting, um, Best Picture on there, but then they're just like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> when Moonlight actually won. Um, but, uh, yeah, so what's really cool about this one is it's pretty rare, but it's actually embossed and half embossed. So the thick part's on the low land, so that's, like, the thick, and that's, like, the thin. So the thick parts are like heavily embossed, but then the thin parts are lightly embossed. So I don't know if you can really see that, but that's very, very cool. And it's also, um, um, it's also just like that on the front cover and on the spine. Sadly, it's not embossed at all. Um, but then you just got a picture of them to, um, uh, me and Sebastian played by, um, Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. And then you just got La La Land. Definitely still really love that spine. That is the back. I really love how they put the Blu-ray exclusives and like the classic jazzy kind of lights in. Yeah, so that is the back. The box itself um, is even still amazing. I still love the box even just by itself. You can kind of see it's the same thing as that, just not shiny. Because um, I can't really get it out with one hand. Uh, but uh, yeah, so definitely, of course, very happy to own this. Um, definitely just beautiful cover, um, and I know there's a lot of exclusive versions of this, but I only get one version, of course, and that's usually always Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD now, but I really, really love, like, the deep purple and everything in the background, it really makes the, um, me and Sebastian pop, and it's just really, like, bright and, um, person, and on camera, it looks a little more, like, less shiny and more just, like, kind of lights and stuff on it, um, but in real life, it's really, I think it looks a little more cool, but, yeah, so... Now I have Whiplash and La La Land, two masterpiece movies. So if you haven't checked out either of those, definitely check out both of them. You will not, you will not be let down. They are amazing movies. So those two look definitely very awesome right next to each other. And I'm so happy that I finally w own La La Land. But next up is probably the main thing with my updated movie collection. As you can see here, it is beautiful. I now own every single Fast and Furious movie that is out on physical media so far. So as you guys know, um, The Fate of the Furious is currently my second favorite Fast and Furious movie, but that is still in theaters, so I can't get that on, on physical media yet, but I am going to right when it comes out. 
But basically, you guys know, um, Furious 7 was the first one I've owned. My big brother used to have Fast 5 and Fast and Furious 6, but he doesn't anymore. Um, but for me, Furious 7 was the first one I owned. Then I bought, um, Fast and Furious 6 on Blu-ray DVD and Digital HD Extended Edition when I found it for, like, $8 or whatever at Target. Then I bought Fast 5 for Extended Edition, um, for, because it was only, like, seven fifty. So then I, um... So then I was just saying, like, oh man, I just, I, I, I've seen Too Fast, Too Furious when it was on Netflix. It's not anymore, but I saw it, um, I saw it, like, last summer at some point when it was on Netflix. Um, but I still haven't seen Fast and Furious, The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, or The Fast and the Furious. But now I have seen every single one. I ordered all four of these together. Um, Fast and Furious came on Tuesday along with La La Land. And then, um, the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, Too Fast, Too Furious, and The Fast and the Furious came on Wednesday, the day after, um, so I watched the, I watched, um, 1 and 3 on Wednesday, because of course I already watched Too Fast, Too Furious, but I watched 1 and 3 on Wednesday, and then Fast and Furious on, um, on Thursday, and Fast and Furious, La La Land came perfectly fine with something that, um, with my, like, something that my, um, mom and dad ordered, uh, but... For some reason, Fast and Furious, it came in this weird packaging that I've, or, um, it came in the right packaging, um, those three came in weird packaging that I've never seen before, and it was like this weird, like, um, paperish, it was like this weird paperish, uh, like, cardboard stuff, and it was, like, sticky on the inside, it was weird. Um, it didn't, like, leave any sticky residue, it was just, like, hard to pull them out, it, it was weird. And there wasn't much protection, but they were completely fine, which is good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so basically what happened with that one is I went searching for it all over because it went, it said that it was delivered, but it was not with me or anything. And then all of a sudden when I was in the bathroom, about two hours later after I got home from school, this woman comes by, I guess, um, this one my mom and dad, or my dad and Brayton told me, but this w random woman comes by, drops it off, and then just leaves, um, and they didn't even get to talk to her or anything, um, but apparently she got it in her mailbox, so, I am so, so thankful that it got, like, I, if it was delivered to me, I would have been even more happy, but, um, I'm so thankful that it, like, since it did get delivered to the wrong person, that it got delivered to her, because, like, if you think about it, what I say is there's, like, 0.5% of nice people on this earth, and, like, that's just, I think that's truly nice, because most people on this earth, I just think, like, if they would have got some other person's package, they would have either, one, threw it away, two, kept it for themselves, or three would have kept it for like two weeks or so, then returned it once the other per once the other person already got a replacement or whatever. But she came back literally two hours after I noticed that it wasn't that it was missing, and she returns it and she doesn't even stay for a thank you or anything. So, um, I doubt you're watching this, but if if the person that returned that did, then thank you so much. That you are absolutely spectacular. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so definitely happy for that but these look very cool together of course these four are matching um these two only came with slip covers um um but yeah so um i thought all i kind of thought all four of them were going to but i wasn't i was kind of hesitant thinking all four of them were um but i'm happy that at least two of them did but on the spine both of these ones the fast and the furious and too fast too furious um the titles nothing else but the titles is embossed um, so that's pretty darn cool. It's not heavily embossed, but it is lightly embossed. But it still kind of matches up. It's like a ramp. Um, you can see one, two, three, four, and then five, six, and seven. Um, so yeah, so first off is the fat, the fast, <laughs> the fast and the furious. Um, definitely a very, very awesome slipcover. You can see one right there. It's all green, and you got Mia, um, Brian, Dominic, and, uh, Letty right there. And it's Blu ray and digital HD. Um, and you can see that that title is also embossed right there. Um, it's definitely probably my lo most loose slip cover that I have. See, so watch this. Just <laughs> very, very loose. On the inside, it's just like that. And, um, so yeah, so that is that. So that's the back. And I love this actually a lot more than I thought I was going to. But, um, I would say that this one is probably tied with Tokyo Drift. Um, in my, in my opinion, um, but Furious, just to rank them real quick, Furious 7 is still my favorite one so far, then The Fate of the Furious, um, then The Fast and the Furious and The Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift are tied, then, um, Fast 5 and Fast and Furious are also tied for third place, and then it's Too Fast, um, yeah, then it's Too Fast, Too Furious, that's just my least favorite one. Still good, but not really that great, um, but then Too Fast, Too Furious, um, I do love the slipcovers still, 
Of course, it is embossed on the, the spine again and the title right there. Um, but Blu-ray Digital HD, and then you can see two right there. And then you got them four and the cars. And uh, yeah, this one's not as loose as the other one, but still pretty loose. Um, so yeah, but um, and then that is the back right there. So uh, yeah, so too fast, too furious. And then after that is the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. I do not know why this has a 6.0 on IMDb. I don't know why it's so low rated. I don't know why people hate it so much. I thought this was good. This is, I know it's on Blu-ray, but it's a movie from 2006. And this was, honestly, probably the best looking movie I have that's from before 2010. Like, this looked like a 2015 movie, at least. And I love the cover. It didn't come with slip cover, but you can see, um, they got Lexus RX-7, I believe it was, um, which is Han's car. And then the 370Z right there. Um, and then the four main characters, and then three, but if you don't know, this technically takes place, or it does take place in between six and seven. Um, but yeah, and then it just shows the little battle or race scene where Han dies. Um, and uh, tons of bonus features. All four of these um, Blu-rays, all four of them, I forgot to say, they all came packed with special features. And like these new features were like be live or, or something like that, but there's just like all these cool features and you can like favorite or tag your favorite scenes so you can just like go into your playlist of favorite scenes and just it's really weird but also kind of cool but yeah so that is the back and that is fast and furious tokyo drift really like that one um and then last but not least fast and furious the one i was most hyped to see um this is the one where they have to cross the mexican border and where um letty dies um so yeah but as you can see, it says Ford didn't come with slip card, but I'm just happy that it's here. Um, so yeah, so definitely really cool. You got um, Dom's 1970-something uh, Charger or Challenger right there. Um, and then the four characters that were on the Fast and the Furious cover. And um, that's the scene where they rob, or they're like trying to um, rob like the gas, the gas tanker truck at the beginning. And Letty's like spraying the links together um she's like spraying them with liquid nitrogen and then smacking them with a hammer to break them apart but yeah definitely that one was pretty darn good i really love the crossing mexican border thing at the end it also had probably the the second most violent scene of the whole trilogy or of the whole franchise other than the fate of the furious because on the fate of the furious it's not a spoiler but there's just this random girl um and letty when the submarine was starting up there's a propeller spinning and letty like they're like fighting and then Letty shoves her over the railing and then all of a sudden it just shows Letty and then you just hear and then all of a sudden blood splatters onto the side um, right under Letty. Um, but on that one, how, um, of course, Brago lives and then um, Brian kills him on Fast and Furious 6. Um, but on that one, um, Braga's like second in command. Um, he was about to, he was about to, um, shoot Brian as he was climbing out of his car. And then Dom just comes and then there's like, rams him into another car. There's like sound effects and it was just like, and it was, it was pretty great. But, uh, yeah, so, and then of course I bought these, but I'll show them, um, or I bought them a while ago, but I'll just show them just to complete franchise. Got Fast Five right there, Fast and Furious Six right there. And then Furious 7 right there, my favorite one. And this one is definitely my favorite slipcover for a DVD anyway. One of my most favorite slipcovers of all time, but definitely very love that. That's awesome how it's shiny and everything like that. And that's embossed, and it's embossed on the spine too. One crew on this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's very awesome. But uh, yeah, so that is that. I'm so happy because if you guys don't know, um, the Fast and the Furious franchise is actually my most favorite movie franchise of all time so far. So I'm so happy to own every single one. So from now on, I can just buy every Fast and Furious movie on physical media right when they come out. Um, but I have all of them that are out so far and they just look really, really awesome right next to each other, especially those four. But they didn't completely link together, of course, um, the numbers anyway, but I do like how they somewhat did in, like, a ramp formation. But, yeah, so that is all for my, um, updated movie collection, so definitely quite a bit, um, right there. Um, but other than that, two more things to show, I believe. Um, so first off is my little plant here. Um, so I watered him again yesterday. I watered him... Uh, I don't know why I'm calling him him, um, but uh, I water my plant about two times a week, and I'll turn my light on just so you can see a little better, but this is my little plant. So my family has actually been wanting 
um, my dad's been saying, like, bamboo, it can, like, um, I guess it's supposed to help, like, calm you and everything, it, um, and it just helps with oxygen levels, of course, and everything, and also bamboos, I would say, is probably my favorite plant and everything, because it's just how it looks and how it grows, and just how strong it is and everything, and it looks very, very awesome, it, I would say it's grown about probably, like, a third of a centimeter, because when I bought it, it was, like, none of that, if you, if I focus a little bit on there, um, you can see like that tan on top of that stalk right there. None of that was really there when I first bought it. So it grew about that much, that tan that you can see right there. That's about how much it's grown. Um, so yeah, but in the inside it looks like a whole bunch of little tiny sticks. Um, if you can kind of see that in the inside right there. I love the focusing on this new camera. Um, but uh, you can see the water a little bit right there. I watered it a little bit too high because you're only supposed to water it to like just where you can barely see it. Um, but that's still pretty much perfect. And, uh, yeah, so I got a five-stock one. My mom got, um, the most expensive one. This one was, like, 15 My little brother got a little tiny one for, like, 10 And my mom got one for, like, $18. But Brighton's is, like, this cool, like, porcelain, I think, um, like, bluish-reddish kind of mix. And then my mom got, like, this black one with white flowers. But I got mine, um, I, I thought it was just, like, from the ones I saw at Albertsons and everything, since we've been looking at these for a while, since my family's been wanting them for a while, um, and we just now finally got them about a week ago at Walgreens. At Albertsons, there's only, like, one with, like, little brown pots, but at once we got to Walgreens, like, I didn't know you could, like, there's tons of different pots to choose from, so I saw this one over on top of a rack above, and it was the only one that wasn't watered at all, so we're kind of on, on edge about this one, but watered it as soon as I got home, and it's completely fine. Um, so yeah, you can see my pot is, like, this really cool-shaped black pot, and then it's got my favorite, um, my favorite symbol on it. I believe it's, um, I believe it's linked to some religion. I don't know if it's, I think it's Buddhism or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's yin and yang, of course, but that looks very, very cool. I think it definitely adds to my whole, um, decorative corner right here. Um, so definitely love that. And, um, yeah, so I got some bamboo, and we'll just kind of... I don't know, I, I, I'm i probably, it's probably just going to be in the background for now, but in a few months, probably towards the end of the summer, I'll do like an update, show you how much it's grown, because it probably will still be alive, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, it just said to water it below the roots, so pretty much just to the top of the rocks or so, um, and keep it out of direct sunlight, and it came with this little tag that I cut off, because it looked dumb. I, um, my mom was going to put twine around there, but I don't think she did, but um, I think all three of us just kept that gold stuff on there, I think it looks fine. Um, but it did have this tag, which we all cut off, but it said, like, what your thing is supposed to, what your bamboo is supposed to bring you, um, and of course it's, like, of course it's all, like, the calming effects and everything, but mine was wealth, my mom's was extreme wealth, and then my little brother's was calmness or something like that, um, so yeah, but that is that, um, so now on to my updated movie poster collection real quick. Okay, so I'm going to do these pretty quick because I just remembered that I actually, after this, I ha I do still have one more thing to show. Um, but uh, yeah, so my updated movie poster collection is, um, it's just three new things um, pretty much. But right here you guys did know that I had Furious 7, then I had Furious 7 and F Furious 8, or um, the Fate of the Furious. Um, but then now that I've seen all of them, I just figured like I would do all the franchises and I'll get onto that in a second, or the whole franchise and I'll get onto that in a second. Um, but this is split. I just explained that a little bit ago, but I hung up a poster for that and it's just got a little more right there. Kevin has 23 distinct personalities. 24th is about to be unleashed. And uh, yeah, so there's a poster for that. But other than that over here... I have this, and as you guys know, I always, um, said that I don't hang, I'm, I'm not hanging out posters for, like, whole franchises, um, especially, or at least not ones that they're adding mo movies to all the time, um, it, but, um, of course those three don't count because they don't add to them all the time, um, but this one, of course, they add to it all the time since, ever since Disney bought over Star Wars and stuff, but that, that's the original trilogy, in my opinion, no, those, those are the only, like, great Star Wars movies, because I'm not a huge fan of Rogue One, and, um, I do, I do like, um, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, but if you, if you, if you think about it, it is, it's A New Hope, just 2016, or 2015 version, whenever it came out, 2014, I don't know, um, but, uh, yeah, so, the reason I'm adding to this one, or the reason I hung up this franchise is because, one, it's my most favorite movie franchise of all time so far, and also, um, there's supposed to be only two more, and, um, I don't think they're adding to it after that, because 
then they would have to add like another five more to make it even or whatever because stopping at 10 makes more sense than stopping at 13 or whatever um so yeah so um number nine is coming in 2019 and number 10 is coming in 2020 or 2021 so the year after i graduate from high school um so yeah so basically on this one i just got um the fast and furious two fast two furious fast and Fur the fast and furious tokyo drift and fast and furious so i got those four main posters right there sorry if i was just filming up there but uh yeah so i just got those four posters right there and then right here i got fast five fast and furious six furious seven and the fate of the furious one of my most favorite movie posters of all time um but again that's my most favorite one right there um <laughs> but uh yeah so that i got that up and of course we don't have to worry about it at all right now because again it's not for a very long time but um fast and furious nine and ten i'll probably just put like one and two right there instead of just putting like full poster and having to put it up there i'll probably just like kind of like do like half a poster like that and then i'll just hang up like nine and ten but we don't have to worry about that for years like i'll be a i'll be like almost i'll be like 20 when 20 or 20 i don't know why i just did that um 20 or 21 when uh number 10 comes out but uh yeah so that's my update movie poster wall nothing uh, much with that um but to the last thing that i forgot to show you guys about finally it has been almost a year but i finally added to brennan's car drawings so basically i'm gonna turn on my light real quick you would have saw it on the thumbnail already and um all that but uh basically the last one i added was uh um my my subaru brz and my um dodge charger srt hellcat but that was back on um 721 16 to 722 16 so almost a year ago and a few months from now um but basically now i have drawn a um my first truck actually um so i drew a 2017 ford f-150 raptor 3.5 liters 450 horsepower v6 that is my exact favorite truck I've seen one in real life it passed by us real quick on 10th a couple months ago and it was so cool me and my dad like freaked out we were just like whoa <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then, um, my dad's favorite Subaru, and it's, uh, it's definitely growing on me, I lo I really love it, um, the BRZ is still my favorite, but if you want the strong Subaru, like, BRZ is, is somewhat strong, but it's mainly for looks, it's only two-wheel drive, but this one, it still looks pretty darn good, it's four-wheel drive, and it's quite a bit more strong, um, so this is, of course, the Subaru WRX, and it is, um, the one that I showed the picture on, um, that we saw at the car show, we actually saw the exact one. The only thing that was different about it is it didn't have a carbon fiber hood like I drew right there. Um, cause if you got, if you're going to get a Subaru WRX, you got to get the classic looking one, which is navy blue with a carbon fiber roof or a carbon fiber hood. Um, so yeah, so it is a 2017 Subaru WRX STI limited, limited with wing 2.5 liters, 305 horsepower, four cylinder. Um, so yeah, so I, those are my two new drawing so get a nice good look pause if you have to um but uh yeah so definitely getting pretty darn thick of car drawings and of course i have one where it's three motorcycles and now a truck so it's all cars except for three motorcycles and one truck so i'm gonna hang this back up real quick and i will be back okay so i hung that back up so that is all i had to show here on day vlog 38 so that is pretty much it for this video so um basically the only thing i want to talk about is um this is the first day vlog in a while where i haven't had a movie review or i guess a tv show review because i did my first and only one so far on iron fist a couple day vlogs ago um but it, it's kind of weird ha not having a thumbnail um for this day vlog where in the corner it has the poster for a movie or show or whatever and that says review above it because it's been like that for a long time um but uh yeah so Hopefully you guys like this um, day vlog. Um, it's still pretty long. I'm um, still going to be around 30, half an hour or so, um, 35 minutes, something like that. Um, but that definitely is shorter because most of my day vlogs nowadays are like 55 minutes or so. Um, so it is actually about 20 minutes shorter. Um, but the only thing I want to talk about is there pro is that um, on the next day vlog, I can pretty much promise you there will be a movie review. And it's for the next step in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As you guys probably know, it is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, the next movie on my movies to watch in theaters uh, for over 2017. Um, and so yeah, so you can definitely expect that. It goes into theaters um, exactly one week from now for me anyway, because today 
is on Friday, March 28th. Or I mean, <laughs> Friday, April 28th. Um, for me anyway, um, so exactly one week from now for me, um, it is going into theaters, so, um, I'm going to see it either on the day of release like I've been doing for, like, the past three movies, um, like I did with Fate of the Furious, Lego Batman movie, and Logan, um, but we might be going to Bozeman on that day for my mom's doTERRA stuff, um, so me, my dad, and Britton are gonna, like, just kinda hang out there, whatever, might go visit the Audi R8 again, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, might go see it on the day release, maybe the next day, but, um, yeah, so expect a review for that. Um, we have, like, one more meeting for the team panel for this year anyway, and then I'm gonna hopefully get into a second term for next year, so that'll probably be my last movie review in the paper for this year, or this school year anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, but not for, not, not for the channel. I'll still be doing reviews on the channel, just for the Great Falls Tribune. Um, so, yeah, so, that is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see y'all later. You know, yeah. Bye!